Surprisingly, it seems to fall upwards. How does it work? It's simple. The snow itself is lower in density than salt water, both in the Earth's oceans and on Europa. And the most amazing thing is that on Europa, due to the thickness of the ice, the snow most likely rises from the bottom up under the crust, possibly forming the same kind of mountains as on Earth, but upside down. The next thing hinting at activity under the ice were the geysers bursting from under the crust. Over the past 10 years, they've been recorded three times by scientists. These are bursts of ice reaching at least 125 miles in height, according to calculations. It is precisely the relationship between the subglacial ocean and the ice lid during Europa's revolution around Jupiter, namely their friction and increasing temperature that causes the ice to crack and display those cracks. Ice geysers periodically break out from the cracks consisting of warmer ice or even water. One of these geysers was captured by Galileo, 